Welcome Unidata BCI customer. This video try to demo the function when you have a Unidata A23 on Red Hat or CentOS 7.9 version and try to use in Microsoft ODBC 70 driver connect to SQL Server. For my testing, it's connect to SQL Server 2019. So on your SQL Server, you must be a SQL Server or Express version. You have SQL Server username and password connect to your database. For my testing, I will demo using UD underscore database. Inside the database has just one simple state table. Then next on your Unidata server is running on the Netflix, Red Hat server, or CentOS. You need to install Microsoft ODBC driver and 17. And after you install driver, you also install the Unix ODBC driver manager and set up the ODBC.ini file and ODBC.inst.ini file. If you have some issue, you might be need to set up the login inside the ODBC INSD.INF file and run the iSQL command to verify your uh, SQL Server connection environment setting. And I will put the all the information uh, under YouTube description field so you can go there to uh, get the sample connection information. After you set up iSQL is fine, then you need to run a Unidata BCI command before run connect called re relink.udlibs. So the Microsoft ODBC driver right now provide a very simple way. They just couple command. You can go to the Microsoft website to follow the instruction all based on the uh, OS version 6, 7, 8, or a little bit different. So you can go to the Microsoft website to see uh, which driver you should install it. So that's a unit data. Uh, you want you using the BCI, so you must be uh, using Unix ODBC driver manager. It's called libodbc.so. The file it will reside on a uh, system library. Uh, it may be called user or lib64 or lib64. For Unidata side, you need to run the relink.udlibs command and to relink to re redirect the libodbc.so from Unidata dummy library became the Unix ODBC driver manager. Then you can run the connect command. So after you run the link, sometimes you can verify your setting. So this one, uh, very important for unit A2. So you need to uh, check for slash dot UD libs A2. Where is the point to? Uh, it should be uh, a lib64 or for slash user for slash lib64. Then sometimes you can use a very useful command called LDD command to verify your UDD section so you will know uh, which library uh, will be used. The most important I just show you, they have uh, many uh, li uh, dynamic link library, but that's the most important I, I put here called libodbc.so or libcritic.so.1 uh, on another uh, library. So. Here's the, a very important thing for Unidata A23. They must be uh, with the Microsoft ODBC driver 1.7. Uh, if you use the little bit old Unidata version, you might be need to uh, use in the Microsoft ODBC driver 1.3. Otherwise, you got a call dump. I will show you uh, very quick. So before you start it, you have a unit data uh, for my testing have a 823. Then right now you have a 
SQL Server uh, environment. So for my testing, I have a unit data, uh, UD underscore data a database file, and I have one table called uh, states. So I, when I use BCI, I can connect to this SQL Server 2019, so I can get the data back from SQL Server on unit data uh, 8.2.3. So right now I have two machines. Uh, it's the same thing. Both two machines have a unit data A23. And, and one is uh, installed a Microsoft ODBC driver uh, 17, and the other is running is the 13. So if you look at the, uh, uh, how, how can you install it? Uh, you can uh, go to Microsoft website. Uh, here's the link. I will put the link. They have uh, so many options you can install Microsoft ODBC driver. But for the ODBC driver installation, uh, pretty simple. Uh, let's just couple command. Uh, before, because I already have uh, installation on this driver, I can reinstall anytime I want. But I want to uh, make sure uh, I already have call, uh ODBC INST INI file. So I have already have a setting on this machine. So I can back up first ODBC INST. Uh, if you have other version, you might be also uh, make a backup. So you know how, uh, how your setting connect to your SQL server. So for this one, I just need to back up so I can ODBC INST dot ini dot bak so i get get a backup and another i have uh odbc ini file so that's the original setting is everything's working right i get a backup ini dot bak so i can uh, rerun the all the uh, process so first one, uh, I like to uh, run in the command uh, to remove uh, the original setting on this uh, driver because maybe you have old, dri old Unix ODBC driver manager on this machine and it might be broken. So I just run it. So uh, it can be uh, removed. So I, after I remove it, and I want to uh, install the new driver. It's just a very quick uh, process to install the new uh, Microsoft ODV driver 17 connect to a SQL Server. So it's pretty quick, it's done. And next step, uh, we need to install uh, the Unix ODBC driver manager. Yeah, it's done. So very quick. So I've done it. Then we can check again. ODBC INST INI file. So that's the setting on this machine. So it didn't override it. It's the uh, if you check ODBC driver manager, it's the right, and you can check uh, TC ODBC C ODBC INI file. So it it didn't update it. So basically, let's uh, my original setting. I can connect to a uh, SQL Server using ODBC INI setting. So after run this, I make sure uh, my environment is right. So I can use an iSQL command to set up SQL Server 2019. Then you So it's fine. Then I have a one uh, very simple table for demo. So you know, so I, I got the two record from uh, my SQL Server 2019. So for the iSQL, for the Unix ODBC drive manager is correct. So next step, 
will be a run the relink command on for your unit data environment. So next step, I can run relink. So my uh, unit data A23 is installed here. So let's have a, a very important uh, statement called relink libs. So you can link to lib64 or user lib64 is the basic the same. I, I use lib64. So you see the point will link to library. So after run relink, you can see minus al dot udlibs a2. So it's point to a uh, lib64. So if you look at the what is the lib64, basically a uh, lib64 is the link to user lib64. So all the information is just the same. So sometimes very important to know if link is successful or not. So you can uh, using ldd command or uh, UDT to see. Let's all step to link. Uh, when you run UDT, we start to link all the link library. So very important thing is this one must be linked to uh, user lib, lib64, lib odbc.so. So after you link this one, uh, it's correct. Then next step, you can uh, go to the uh, unit any unit data account. So I can go to demo. So it's connect to demo. Uh, no other setting. Just run connect. Connect to DSN defined in the ODBC uh, .in file. So I can uh, let's the SQL Server. Username U2. So I connect it successful to SQL Server. So from here, I can uh, get the sample data back. So everything is successful on this machine. So I go back to another machine. You will see there's some issue on this machine. This machine almost the same environment are uh, running on the same. Uh, let's the look at uh, let's the Red Hat machine. So I can check uh, Red Hat release. So it's running Red Hat uh, 7.8 machine. So it's run send unit data A23. So uh, you can uh, check very easy. So you can uh, cat that note. So you are now it's A23. So, but this one is a little bit different process to install the uh, uh, Microsoft ODBC driver 13. So you can check uh, ODBC INST INI. So it's running cat etc ODBC INST dot INI. So it's install a uh, little bit old driver is Microsoft ODBC 13 and set up the uh, same ODBC.ini file. So everything is right, same setting. So I can run from here, minus v SQL Server 2019, U2. So iSQL is fine. But I can run as the same relink command. So this one already relink. So you can see that UDLIBS. That's the A2. So it's a link the same library. But you will see uh, what's the difference when you try to connect from the BCI.
So let's start the unit data section, no problem. Connect SQL Server 2019. Input the username. You got a call dump. The main reason is call dump because the um, Microsoft install ODBC driver 13 uh, also installed the Unix ODBC uh, lib, lib so is not compatible with the Unidata environment. So that's the main issue cause. So you must be choose the right uh, version to work with the Unidata BCI. So I hope you can learn about the Unidata BCI, uh, also compatible environment to connect to your SQL Server on your CentOS server.